Hello, and welcome to a very special episode of Gundam Battle Operation 2, Fujin the Dressin. A successor to the Dom family, even though it's based off largely the Rick Dom 2. It was first really seen during the Neo Zeon, or Neo Zeon conflicts, and it was meant initially for ground combat, but proved to be flexible enough and capable enough that they used it for both ground combat and space combat. Outside of that, it would go on to see use with the sleeves in the Unicorn timeline and the White Tri-Stars or the Fair Lady 3. It's a fantastic suit that I very much do enjoy using. It takes the basics of Dom gameplay and moves it forward into a um, interesting array with adding a few tricks to it as we'll see as we get into its loadout and features. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it's got. So it's resistance, uh, ballistic resistance, beam resistance are both at 25. It's melee resistance is at 20. It's range strength at 27. It's melee strength 32. It has a movement speed of 140, a top speed of 215, and a fruster gauge of 70. Close range slots of, eight, slots of 18, medium range slots of 15, and long range of 7. For equipment, it has available to it the Dresden Great Bazooka, but you could also use the Balru Beam Rifle, which is not a bad choice. It has the Long Beam Tomahawk, but it can also use the Heat Saber. Uh, the main difference being that this is an immediate knockdown weapon, and the the heat saber is more like what you would expect from a traditional dom so if you're more comfortable with that or you want a little bit more control when you knock people down that's the weapon to go for as opposed to this one then we got the three barrel beam cannon which are in the the uh the arms and you i largely use them as chipping weapons and then we have the tri blade times three this just in case you haven't used anything similar to it when you fire these weapons they will follow where your reticle is pointing to up to a limited degree so you can kind of guide them in depending on how good you are for skills we have emergency evasion system special leg buffer anti-blast stabilizer high performance balancers forced injector level two yes a high regard from me in that one. Melee combo controller, level one. Me maneuver armor, level one, which is not bad. Makes it able to get in a little bit better. Explosive reactive armor, if this is your first time. This just reduces when you get hit by a ranged weapon, especially an explosive one. Enhanced tackle, so increased tackle range and damage. And a high spec and back which is more of a space-based skill, but hey, it still works. So, we'll go ahead and go into the match with this unit in the orange the orange menace colors, and uh, I'm gonna say this, it's a fun unit, it's basic, but it does build upon what has been made, done before with the doms, and I think that's a fantastic way of doing a lot of these suits to simply build on what's been there, add a little bit of complexity, 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 pardon me, and, well, a little bit more of what it can do and react with. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hey, welcome to the match as we get into the dressing, which I always feel like I'm saying wrong, but hey, whatever. Orange menace colors go. This is a pretty cool suit. I still like it all these years later. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I like the Dom family so much. So, this is a interesting match. I generally hate doing ace matches. Even though I have somewhere around 100% um, success ratios of winning on uh, ace matches. I just do not enjoy them. I find them really annoying. Uh, eh, whatever. 
So, I'm kind of bringing up the back. I'm going to throw these there and forget that I need to aim a little higher up to throw a bit of a screen out for uh, our <laughs> support. And I notice there's three guys kind of bearing down on me. And just smack him down. It's the pretty awesome suit right there. So I know better than to let him just gallivant around like that. So I'm going to keep moving. Now i got to take the shots where I can, but uh, we're kind of bringing up the rear here. I'm not sure what the rest of our team is doing. Well, I guess I'm going to come up here because, uh, whoa, boy, that's ugly. I'm going to shoot these. I'm going to try to get that guy right there. Bam. Hung him up a bit. Um, then I noticed a guy down here. Just drop down, take him out. And then I remember, oh my lord, this is an ace match. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Well... Okay. <laughs> Someone knocked him down. There we go. Good enough for me. Uh, just take him out too. Knock him down. I'm mostly just doing crowd control right now because I really don't want to be the ace in this match. Um, and there's another unit I'm actually pretty good with. It's a neat, mean little unit for what it is. Um, so anyways, uh, th this unit has a lot to offer Ow. Uh, for someone who wants a basic playstyle but with a few extra touches on it. So right now we're doing a decent job at screaming out their dudes as I run into getting knocked down by my own team. I'm not sure what this guy's plan was, but it, it was not a good one. So I'm going to get pressed. So I'm just going to slam him with some rounds, then move over here, because I'm trying to help my dude out. I'm trying to chase this guy down, which is probably a giant waste of my time, so I change target, miss do that. Now I knew he was going to counter, but I figured my dude to be able to follow up with him kind of pinned down. There we go. Like I said, I'm willing to sacrifice if it will help us uh, get a guy, especially when you start getting lower in the health. Uh, sometimes it's just better to uh, do that. Oh, missed him. Get him with that knock him down and I'm gone so this is a very effective unit in the right hands but you gotta be aggressive with it even with its bit more of ranged weapons so uh, our team's playing pretty aggressive though I can see they're starting to spread out a little too much for my likings uh, two is doing a good job with the Super Gundam there. So I'm going to try to drop in because I have a suspicion that yep, he was getting chased. So I'm going to just keep annoying him because I know I have more range options than him so I'm just going to keep peppering the shit out of him. Because I don't want to get super close in with him. I'd rather just keep using my range range him out because that Xeon shotgun is a massive pain. And as long as I can keep playing with him there. So I'm going to bail out on that fight. Drop over here using my mobility. A selection's very soon. So I'm going to come over. And man, there's so much smoke. Just add some damage to him. And try to sneak that in. Bam. Oh, and he's gone. So, I'm trying to play fairly conservative while still being aggressive. Uh, I'm not doing the best job at... Well, let's see. Our Super Gundam is ace, which could be good for us. So I'm going to shift over here to help three out. And just knock him down. I'm trying to basically filter them 
as much as I can on this side. And I notice our support, or basically our ace, has pulled back. So I'm going to come over here and use this to my advantage to force them to have to deal with me first. Even if I'm going to get hit in the back, this way they have, uh, they have to come through me. So there we go. Effectively, I'm just sitting here taking the beating as best I can and forcing them to have to play, well, our game. So, oh, there we go. So, I, at this point, we've pretty much taken this game considering the score. I got shot in the back. <laughs> Just give them the stone cold look like, don't mess with me there, boy. And they're all going to spawn over here, so I'm going to move forward, accidentally shoot that, because I was trying to be a little bit more tricksy than I was. And again, I am trying to basically play uh, Roadblock. Get in, throw in some damage, but mostly prevent them from just bum-rushing the ace. So, I'm hovering around, even though I'm not helping be aggressive on... Uh, their guy I am helping on our side of things so there's this guy is still trying to get aggressive on our ace so I'm gonna push back up here and he's just going to ignore it so we're gonna just smack him down and that should basically put a uh, make him well soon to die which is not a bad thing in this regard oh the enemy ace is gone now our guys are being really aggressive over here and we've kind of smuttered out their ability to get to our guy so now I didn't kill him because I was hoping the ace would get a shot but hey he's gone now so I'm going to push over here in the last seconds of the game to uh, help out where I can and um, well you know I feel bad for their team they're just not having a good game. They got completely smuttered in this one. And none of them are bad players. So, you know, I don't want to add insult to injury. So I'm just going to come over here. There, There's a point at which you just don't keep trying to add to the misery. Well, let's see how we're doing. All right, Chad Pose with the big gun. And uh, fourth place, I'll take it. Bye-bye.